China has been on the Internet intermittently since May 1989 and on a permanent basis since 20 April 1994. In 2008 China became the country with the largest population on the Internet and has remained so. As of July 2016, 730,723,960 people, 53.2% of the country's total population, were internet users. China's first foray into global cyberspace was an email, not TCP, IP-based and thus technically not internet, sent on the 20th of September 1987 to University of Karlsruhe. It said, Across the Great Wall, we can reach every corner in the world. Simplified Chinese, Yu Guo Zhang Sheung Zhou Shang Shi Jia Traditional Chinese, Yu Guo Zhang Sheung Zhou Shang Shi Jia Pinyin, Yu Guo Changchen, Zhu Xiang Shi Ji. This has since become a well known phrase in China, and is displayed on the desktop login screen for QQ Mail. Topic. Development China had 618 million Internet users by the end of December 2013, a 9.5% increase over the year before and a penetration rate of 45.8%. By June 2014, there were 632 million Internet users in the country and a penetration rate of 46.9%. The number of users using mobile devices to access the Internet overtook those using PCs 83.4% and 80.9%, respectively. China replaced the U.S. in its global leadership in terms of installed telecommunication bandwidth in 2011. By 2014, China hosts more than twice as much national bandwidth potential than the U.S., the historical leader in terms of installed telecommunication bandwidth China, 29% versus U.S., 13% of the global total. As of March 2017, there are about 700 million Chinese Internet users, and many of them have a high-speed Internet connection. Most of the users live in urban areas but at least 178 million users reside in rural towns. A majority of broadband subscribers are DSL, mostly from China Telecom and China Netcom. The price varies in different provinces, usually around $5 to $20 per month for a 4M 100M ADSL fiber. Price varies by geographic region. As of June 2011, Chinese internet users spent an average of 18.7 hours online per week, which would result in a total of about 472 billion hours in 2011. Broadband makes up the majority of internet Internet connections in China, with 363.81 million users at this service tier. The price of a broadband connection places it well within the reach of the mainland Chinese middle class. Wireless, especially Internet access through a mobile phone, has developed rapidly. 500 million are accessing the Internet via cell phones. The number of dial-up users peaked in 2004 and since then has decreased sharply. Generally statistics on the number of mobile Internet users in China show a significant slump in the growth rate between 2008 and 2010, with a small peak in the next two years. By the end of 2009, the number of Chinese domestic websites grew to 3.23 million, with an annual increase rate of 12.3%, according to the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology. As of first half of 2010, the majority of the web content is user-generated. Structure 
An important characteristic of the Chinese Internet is that online access routes are owned by the PRC government, and private enterprises and individuals can only rent bandwidth from the state. The first four major national networks, namely CSTNET, ChinaNet, CERNET and CHINAGBN, are the «backbone» of the mainland Chinese Internet. Later dominant telecom providers also started to provide Internet services. In 2015 January, China added seven new access points to the world's Internet backbone, adding to the three points that connect through Beijing, Shanghai, and Guangzhou. Public Internet services are usually provided by provincial telecom companies, which sometimes are traded between networks. Internet service providers without a nationwide network could not compete with their bandwidth provider, the telecom companies, and often run out out of business. The interconnection between these networks is a big concern for Internet users, since Internet traffic via the global Internet is quite slow. However, major Internet services providers are reluctant to aid rivals. <laughs> User base The January 2013 China Internet Network Information Center report states that 56% of Internet users were male, and 44% were female, and expresses other data based on 60,000 surveys. The majority of Chinese Internet users restrict their use of the Internet to Chinese websites, as most of the population has a lack of foreign language skills. English language media in China often use the word netizen to refer to Chinese Internet users. <laughs> Content According to Kaiser Kuo, the Internet in China is largely used for entertainment purposes, being referred to as the "...entertainment superhighway". However, it also serves as the first public forum for Chinese citizens to freely exchange their ideals. Most users go online to read news, to search for information, and to check their email. They also go to BBS or web forums, find music or videos, or download files. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Content providers. Chinese language infotainment web portals such as Tencent, Sina.com, Sohu, and 163.com are popular. For example, Sina claims it has about 94.8 million registered users and more than 10 million active ones engaged in their fee-based services. Other Internet service providers such as the human resource service provider 51job and the electronic commerce web sites such as Alibaba.com are less popular but more successful on their specialty. Their success led some of them to the make IPOs. All websites that operate in China with their own domain name must have an ICP license from the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology. Because the PRC government blocks many foreign websites, many homegrown copycats of foreign websites have appeared. Topic. Search engines Baidu is the leading search engine in China, while most web portals also provide search opportunities like Soso.com. Bing China has also entered the Chinese market. Bing.cn also operates Yahoo's China search functions. As of 2015, Google has limited to no presence in China. Before 2014, Googlers in China were linked to Google Hong Kong from its Google.cn page because of an issue with hackers reportedly based in mainland China. 
As of June 4, 2014, Google became officially blocked without the use of a virtual private network (VPN), an effect still in place to date. Topic: <laughs> Online communities. Although the Chinese write fewer emails, they enjoy other online communication tools. Users form their communities based on different interests. Bulletin boards on portals or elsewhere, chat rooms, instant messaging groups, blogs and microblogs are very active, while photo sharing and social networking sites are growing rapidly. Some wikis such as the Soso Bake and Baidu Bake are flourishing. Until 2008 the Chinese Wikipedia could not be accessed from mainland China. Since 2008, the government only blocks certain pages on Wikipedia which they deem to contain controversial content. <laughs> Social medias China is one of the most restricted countries in the world in terms of Internet, but these constraints have directly contributed to the staggering success of local Chinese social media sites. The Chinese government makes it impossible for foreign companies to enter the Chinese social media network. Without access to the majority of social media platforms used elsewhere in the world, the Chinese have created their own networks, just like Facebook, MySpace, YouTube, and Foursquare, but with more users, which is why every global company needs to pay attention to these sites. Some Chinese famous social medias are Sina Weibo, Tencent Weibo, Renren, Pengyu, QQ, Duban etc. Topic: Online shopping. The rapidly increasing number of internet users in China has also generated a large online shopping base in the country. A large number of Chinese internet users have even been branded as having an online shopping addiction as a result of the growth of the industry. According to Sina.com, Chinese consumers with Internet access spend an average of RMB 10,000 online annually. <laughs> <laughs> online mapping services China has endeavored to offer a number of online mapping services and allows the dissemination of geographic information within the country. Soso Maps, Baidu Maps Baidu de tu and Tian de tu, Tian de tu are typical examples. Online mapping services can be understood as online cartography backed up by a geographic information system GIS. GIS was originally a tool for cartographers, geographers and other types of specialists to store, manage, present and analyze spatial data. In bringing GIS online, the web has made these tools available to a much wider audience. Furthermore, with the advent of broadband, utilizing GIS has become much faster and easier. Increasingly, non-specialist members of the public can access, look up and make use of geographic information for their own purposes. Tianditu is China's first online mapping service. Literally World Map, Tianditu was launched in late October 2010. The Chinese government has repeatedly claimed that this service is to offer comprehensive geographical data for Chinese users to learn more about the world. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Online payment. Driven by prevalent internet usage and the increase in the online retail sector, online payment services have also grown rapidly in China. 
As of January 2015, Alipay, owned by Alibaba Group has 600 million counts of users and has the largest user group among all online payment providers. Online gaming As of 2009, China is the largest market for online games. The country has 368 million Internet users playing online games and the industry was worth $13.5 billion in 2013. 73% of gamers are male, 27% are female. Adult content Although restrictions on political information remain strong, several sexually oriented blogs began appearing in early 2004. Women using the web aliases Muzi Mei and Jiang Qingtong wrote online diaries of their sex lives and became minor celebrities. This was widely reported and criticized in mainland Chinese news media, and several of these bloggers' sites have since been blocked, and remain so to this day. This coincided with an artistic nude photography fad including a self-published book by dancer Tang Jiali and the appearance of pictures of minimally clad women or even topless photos in a few Chinese newspapers, magazines and on several websites. Many dating and adult chat sites, both Chinese and foreign, have been blocked. Some, however, continue to be accessible, although this appears to be due more to the Chinese government's ignorance of their existence than any particular policy of leniency. Topic: <laughs> Censorship. The Golden Shield project was proposed to the State Council by Premier Zhu Rongji in 1993. As a massive surveillance and content control system, it was launched in November 2000, and became known as the Great Firewall of China. The apparatus of China's Internet control is considered more extensive and more advanced than in any other country in the world. The governmental authorities not only block website content but also monitor the Internet access of individuals. Such measures have attracted the derisive nickname, the Great Firewall of China. However, there are some methods of circumventing the censorship by using proxy servers outside the firewall. Users may circumvent all of the censorship and monitoring of the Great Firewall if they have a secure VPN or SSH connection method to a computer outside mainland China. Disruptions of VPN services have been reported, and many of the free or popular services are now blocked. On July 29, 2017, Apple complied with an order from the Chinese government to remove all VPN apps from its App Store that were not pre approved by the government. Different methods are used to block certain websites or pages, including DNS poisoning, blocking access to IPs, analyzing and filtering URLs, inspecting filter packets, and resetting connections. Memes The Baidu 10 mythical creatures, initially a humorous hoax, became a popular and widespread Internet meme in China. These ten hoaxes reportedly originated in response to increasing online censorship and have become an icon of Chinese Internet users' resistance to it. The state administration of press, publication, radio, film, and television issued a directive on 30 March 2009 to highlight 31 categories of content prohibited online, including violence, pornography, and content which may incite ethnic discrimination or undermine social stability." Many Chinese Internet users believe the instruction follows the official embarrassment over the 
grass mud horse, and the river crab. Industry observers believe that the move was designed to stop the spread of parodies or other comments on politically sensitive issues in the run-up to the anniversary of the 4th of June Tiananmen Square protests. Topic: <inaudible> Cyber attacks. In the second quarter of 2014, China is by far the main country of origin of cyber attacks, with 43% of the worldwide total. <laughs> <laughs> Internet advertising market The size of China's online advertising market was RMB 3.3 billion in the third quarter 2008, up 19.1% compared with the previous quarter. Soso.com, Baidu.com Inc., Sina Corp. and Google Inc. remain the top four in terms of market share. Keyword advertising market size reached RMB 1.46 billion, accounting for 43.8% of the total Internet advertising market with a quarter-on-quarter -quarter growth rate of 19.3%, while that of the online advertising site amounted to RMB 1.70 billion, accounting for 50.7% of the total, up 18.9% compared with the second quarter. Currently, Baidu has launched the CPA platform, and Sina Corp has launched an advertising scheme for intelligent investment. The moves indicate a market trend of effective advertising with low cost. Online advertisements of automobiles, real estate, and finance will keep growing rapidly in the future. Topic: Online encyclopedias. Soso -so Bake, Hudong, 5.4 million articles. Baidu Bake, 3.5 million articles. Chinese Wikipedia, 594,376 articles as of October 2012. Topic. See also Telecommunications in China Telecommunications industry in China Internet censorship in China Golden Shield Project China Internet Project Human Flesh Search Engine List of Internet phenomena in China Media in China All-China Youth Network Civilization Convention